Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today is one of our most exciting shows of the year because it's all about bags. bags. So welcome to the Epic TV office. Uh, Flo is in the background, hard at work as usual. Thank you very much, Flo. Now, the reason we're so excited is because I think it's fair to say that you and me are bag addicts. We have issues. We have a lot. We have a lot of bags. Uh, but because of that, I feel we can properly review all of these bags. Yeah, we're experts because we can't stop buying them. Um, but today we're looking at a different type of bag, and your everyday carry, if we call it that. Yeah. You live in Chamonix. It's currently quite techy. You've got a sort of crux bag. It's designed for alpine climbing. But what we've got in front of us is, is a bit different from that. Yeah. Um, I just think when you're like living in a city, you need an everyday backpack that you can stash in a change of clothes, your laptop, shoes, just something that, you know, you can go from the office to the gym and have everything in. Yeah, because you were city girl. I was a city boy. Uh, Milan for you, right? Yeah, London. Yes, London town. Big up the London. Um, so I used to go, leave the house in the morning, work clothes, laptop, boom, work, gym, boom, climb, and then to the pub afterwards and then back home uh, swaying on my bicycle. So we've got four different types of backpacks in front of us, all sort of covering different aspects of that street style. Let's delve into this and perhaps start off with the snap bag in front of me. This is the snap roll top backpack. 25 litres, so a bit bigger than some of the other packs. Access is by this big top pocket in the front, which you can delve into. And the roll top thing, well, that's all about how it seals up. So you can roll it down and then clip it in with this clip onto here, which obviously protects more for rain, splashes, stuff like that, so all your stuff stays nice and dry. What I love about this bag is, is it's just packed with features. So we've got the external laptop compartment case, which is padded, That's of handy. course. Yeah, it's super handy, yeah. because then you just don't need to get involved in that yeah, to yeah. get your laptop out. Uh, that continues, a little, little side pocket on the edge, maybe for your keys, for your phone, something like that. Not super deep, but good enough. But what's cool about this bag is this secret compartment compartment at the bottom of the bag. Okay. You don't need to use this. Uh, you can change it inside so you can put it down to have the full mm -hmm. literage. But if you decide to keep it, you access it from the outside via the zip. It's a little pocket and you can put smelly climbing shoes, disgusting dirty chalk, anything in there that you want to keep separate from the rest of your gear, zip it back up again and it's all sealed in there, which is a really cool feature. Styling wise, I think it's a bit of a love hate with this because of that roll top techie look. Okay. You, you think it's cool? I think it's a bit, put it on, I think it's a bit, it looks a bit big, uh, but is yeah. it waterproof? Uh, I mean, it's 600 denier fabric, 100% uh, recycled Spin around. as well. This is unsealed, ah, it looks remember? fine. Looks all yeah. right? Looks yeah, good? yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I think, I think it's one of those love or hates. It is a bit bigger, but if you're the kind of person who needs a lot of stuff, so yeah. let's say, you know, let's say you take a suit to work, who would do that? Uh, and you've got climbing gear yeah. in it as well, and you need a lot of compartment space. Mm. This could be a good choice for you. Right. About 62 euros ish on the Epic TV shop, so I'd say mid range price. So that's my first, my first bag. All right. My first one, a bit less tacky, but uh, the Patagonia Harbour. And it just reminds me of a school backpack with <laughs> this big compartment uh, here and with a pocket for a laptop, 15 inches, and it's nice and padded. Um, it's just 20 liters, so not as big as that one, mm -hmm. but I think it's fine for a change of clothes and uh, a pair of shoes, which you can hang also outside if you have really smelly feet. I like the blue, you know me, I'm a, I'm a bit into here. the blue, yeah, I like the little details on that. Okay, yeah, and a pocket that you can put in, sunglasses, phone, tape, mm -hmm. nail clippers. This might sound like a stupid question, forgive me if it is, but, so my laptop is 15 inches, right? Right. Yours is 13, I think, your, yes. your laptop. If it's a 15 inch laptop slot, can I shove Go it ahead. in? It can take a 13 inch, right? Because yeah. it'll just be a bit smaller, it's not yeah. like you have to have a 15. No, 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 okay. Go ahead. I'll put it in. Yeah, fairly good fit there, just kind of folds in. What's the price point of the backpack? On the Epic TV shop, now you can find it 
under 30 euros. Under so 30 euros. So a bargain for yeah, Patagonia. My next backpack is the kind of pack that you buy with your heart and forget about your wallet because it is in that sort of slightly expensive price category. This is the Mystery Ranch Urban Assault 21, around about 129-ish euros on the Epic TV shop, but it's kind of beautiful. You've got it to admit. Beautiful. It is, and it's packed with features. Uh, let's start off with the probably least interesting feature, which is the top pocket. But again, little texture details is the mesh pocket underneath. Uh, so a little bit stretchier, a little bit more breathable. Uh, so if you're shoving a banana in there, perhaps more ventilated for your banana. But uh, and then moving on to the back, lovely padded, thick system on the back, padded uh, shoulder straps as well, good for wicking away sweat when you're pedaling manically down the road. I like the colours, um, there's a variety on the Epic TV shop, I particularly like the sort of tanny, browny, two-toned colour. Where it gets super exciting is the three-way zip system on the front. Yeah, I mean, never seen this and like... A, ba a daily backpack like this. I no. haven't either. And these big old chunky zip ties. Yeah. So what happens is it makes a very clean outside look to the bag. When you open it up, it's a bit like, and I've got two sort of, two ways of describing this. One is a flower blooming. Okay. Number two is, have you ever seen Alien? You know, when it comes out of the chest and explodes out? It's a bit like that. No. So you zip it down uh, like this and it all opens up. That's into a, cool. It is kind of cool, that's isn't it? That's cool. Yeah. I don't know why it's cool, but it is cool. I like the access to the front. Uh, within the pack itself, you've got 15 inch laptop slot and another slot if you've got like a big I Apple Pro tablet jobby thing, that can slip in the front as well. Uh, perhaps slightly less space than some of our bigger bags uh, and perhaps maybe more set up to sort of more the work side than the climbing side. How many liters is that? I can't remember. 21, 20, 21. The uh, clue is in the name. I'll spit on you. <laughs> yes. So sorry. Um, 21 liters, uh, which is enough. Um, it's got a few little inside mesh pockets as well. You can see here, perhaps a sunglass pocket, something like that. Um, look, it, it's, it's just cool. It, it's it's super cool. Uh, yeah, it's just you have to get used to using it, I guess. Yeah, because like so. first times you would open the whole zip and everything just like pops out. Yeah, and but perhaps it'd be annoying to like not be able to just get into it and slot something into the top. I guess, but no, you can like open it on one side. Um, it's 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 getting one, it, yeah. I, I just don't want to give it back. It's yeah, one okay, of them bags. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that down. Blow the budget with your heart, people. You know it's right. Okay, so on a more techie note, Mountain Hardware Camp 4 backpack inspired by a hauling bag. You can see it from the big hauling loops mm -hmm. and also the shape of it at the bottom. Um, yeah, this comes close to a perfect backpack for me. That is a big claim. I know, I know, but like, wait, wait for it. Like that backpack, uh -huh. super comfortable, um, back straps padded uh, well for if you're like biking around and sweating a lot. Uh, or if it's, or if you're in Milan, it's like 40 degrees. Unlike um, London, <laughs> slightly different. Yeah, but quite rainy in London, right? True, it is raining. 420 D yeah. nylon finish, uh, so very durable. Shrugs, uh, well, it can take a lot of abuse. Shrugs water. Mm -hmm. 28 liters, so 28 nice. 28 liters. Yes, big compartment with a sleeve for your computer, for your laptop. 15 inches again, mm -hmm. nicely well padded, so you can like throw it around and hopefully not break your computer. And then another pocket here, just mesh pocket, and you can like attach your keys. Mm. Cause uh, this is the thing about these type of backpacks with like too many pockets, is that you never know where you put your keys or phone yeah. or wallet. Yeah. And it's a good bright red color. It is, and, and talking about the colours, there is on the Epic TV shop. There's a men and a women's for that. Yeah, no um, real differences though, right? Just no, color? there's six different colours. Uh, women's one comes in uh, red, which again is called salmon, but it's red. <laughs> and then there's a gold one and this uh, blue ones and darker shades in the men version. All right, well, so let's run through these packs. Let's kind of try to like sort this out a little bit because I reckon that the most sort of 
urban, just normal day packy. Mm -hmm. It's got to be that Patagonia one. I mean, it's yeah. like it's just normal, simple backpack. As you said, a bit like a school pack. Yeah. But with that laptop thing inside it. Yeah. But then again, um, looks good if you go for a hike in the mountains. Yes, that's so true. So yeah, I wouldn't yeah. totally exclude it for that. Yeah. Okay. So and then. On yours, other side of the spectrum, that, that mountain harbour bag has got to be the most techie. I can imagine sort of, I can imagine going single pitch sport climbing at the yeah. weekend and on a Monday yeah. going to work with the same bag. Yeah. I mean, the daisy, daisy chain here, like it's super handy if you want to like clip your shoes to it mm -hmm. or some quick draws. Like, yeah, I, I think this could do it all. So that's your favourite? Yes. I do like the, uh, the Mystery Ranch bag. It, it is expensive for sure, but I mean, that free zip system. If you know that you want that bag, I don't even need to persuade you, you're going to be putting yeah. that into your cart. But if I had to buy one, mm. I think I'd go snap because of that extra compartment. True, yeah, but it, it does make it extra long, I don't know. Yeah, it is uh, big, it's bulky, and, and that is a problem because, I don't know, especially again, if you're cycling, I don't like a big pack on, but I can't ignore the features of it. Those yeah. extra exterior laptop sides, that zip pockets in the front, the side, the extra compartment, it just, for me, it does everything. Mm. Okay. But, as always, this is our opinion. Yes. We're bag nuts. We want to hear your opinion. What do you think of these backpacks? Oh, is there a backpack that we've missed? Is there a sort of street-style pack that we haven't discussed today? Leave a comment down below. Um, all of these packs on the Epic TV shop. Yeah. Link in the description below, as always, of course. I'm sure I um, sat down. <laughs> fine. We just, just, you can go buy it. Pete. You got this. You got this. You're used to this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can buy them down below, so do go and check those out. Uh, we'll be trying these over the next couple of weeks, perhaps. Uh, yes. You want to buy that one, right? Mountain hardware. <laughs> can I keep it, please? I actually, re I really, really like it. Okay. Like, and, also ba and I have like another mountain hardware uh, backpack, and I kind of feel that I'm cheating on it because I want this one, but just, I mean... Fair looks enough. cool. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for letting us geek out on backpacks this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back next week. Have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're doing, and we'll see you soon.